Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be a very quick video on the MCP 3008 chip, uh, which is a 8 channel 10 bit analog to digital converter. I'm just going to basically very quickly run through and show you how easy this is to use. So I've got the data sheet here. Main thing I want to show you is the pinout. This is the uh, package we have the PDIP uh, MCP3008. Um, you can see we've got the eight channels down this side. These are the eight analog channels that we can measure. Um, VDD, I believe, is the supply voltage for the chip. Um, VREF is the reference voltage for the analog to digital converter. And I believe AGND is the ground for the analog to digital converter and D GND is the ground for the chip, but we'll just tie those both to ground. And then this is an SPI interface. We've got clock, D out, D in, and chip select. I'm not quite sure what that stands for. Um, but what I thought was very convenient here is we're going to hook this up to an Arduino. So we need to know which Arduino pins to connect to. I've got an Arduino pin out here. Can I zoom in on that? Yes, might be a little easier. Uh, pin 13 on the Arduino is, is that correct? No, this is pin 13 up here. Pin 13 is actually serial clock. Um, pin 12 is master out, master in, slave out. Pin 11 is master out, slave in. And pin 10 is slave select. Now, those pin numbers, 13, 12, 11, and 10, exactly match up with the pin numbers here on the chip, 13, 12, 11, and 10. And they're actually the, the correct connections as well, the correct order of the connections. So that makes it really easy to connect it up to our Arduino here. Um, we've just got pins 13, 12, 11, and 10 connected to the chip's pins, 13, 12, 11, and 10. So this is my SPI uh, interface across here. So whilst we're looking at the breadboard, um, I've got a couple of green wires in here, um, a little poor choice of colour, but that's my um, VDD and my VREF. Um, and then we've got the blue wires here are grounds, um, A ground and D ground. And you see I've got the ground line just connected up to the, um, the ground at the bottom here and just running that back to the ground on the Arduino. And then we've got plus five volts from the Arduino coming across this red wire to our um, red rail at the top there, which is our plus five volts. Um, the only other thing I've got on this circuit board is I've got a little voltage divider here, it's slightly messy wiring here, but basically we've just got a 1K resistor going from plus five volts to the center of the voltage divider. And then from the center of the voltage divider down to ground, We've got a variable resistor so I can uh, just use this screwdriver to um, vary that resistance and that will vary the voltage that we're feeding into our chip here. Now Adafruit very conveniently uh, gave us a library for use with the Arduino so all we have to do is go to tools Manage Libraries, and I just searched in here for MCP3008. I typed that wrong, haven't I? 3008. Um, and you can see it's here, it comes up here, Adafruit MCP3008 by Adafruit version 1.3. It says installed. Um, all I needed to do was just click the install button I think it. Um, I just left the version as it was and installed the latest version. So we can then close that. Now I've written a little very simple sketch here. There was a slightly more complicated one from Adafruit, but I just wanted to keep it really simple. Um, I'm just including the, the library. I'm creating a variable here. This is the type of uh, my, the data type of my variable, which is Adafruit MCP 3008. This is the name of the variable, which is a, just ADC. Here's my setup function, nice and simple. Uh, serial begin 9600 board. 
Uh, while not serial, I'm not really sure if you actually need that. But that will just loop infinitely until the, the serial comes up. Um, and then it just prints out uh, MCP3008 simple test. We don't even need any of that. Um, and then this is the important bit, ADC begin. So the ADC is this variable we created up here, which is of this type. Then we've got the main loop. Um, what am I doing here? I've got an integer variable called raw. I'm just doing an adc.read adc. Now this number here is the channel that you want to read. So it can be anything from uh, zero to seven for your eight channels. I'm actually connected up to channel zero. So I'm gonna leave that at zero. I'm just printing out that raw value. Now what that's gonna give us, the raw value is just gonna give us the reading from the adc. Um, which will be a number, is a 10-bit ADC, so it'll be a number between 0 and 1023. That's our 10 bits. Um, so I'm just going to print out that raw value that we read. Uh, this is just a tab character. And then I'm printing out, um, I've got a function called voltage, and I'm just passing that raw value in and then, then serial printing the result. And then I've just got a delay 1000. So we'll just continuously loop around, reading the raw value, converting it to a voltage and printing it, printing out both the raw value and the voltage. And here's my little voltage function. It's just simple one line. Um, this is the maths we need. Now I'll, I'll just explain this. The raw is the value that we read from the ADC. We divide it by 1023 because that's the maximum possible value of a 10-bit ADC. Um, important to make sure that that's a float and not an integer, otherwise you run into integer division problems. And then I'm just multiplying it by my voltage. Um, this is my supply voltage. It should be five volts, um, but I measured it and I've measured it at 4.9. It's actually fluctuating quite a bit, so it's difficult to read. Um, but the important thing is that this matches your reference voltage that you're feeding into the ADC and that's that's this pin here the second one in um, let's have a look at the data sheet that would be pin 15 on the data sheet so you just need to make sure that this is your reference voltage it would it would typically be five and a setup like this on an Arduino Uno but to, just to make it a little bit more accurate I've put it at 4.9 uh, we can see in the serial monitor here, um, this is the raw value that we're reading. You can see it fluctuating slightly, not much though. Um, it's fluctuating from between about 899 and 901. So only a couple of uh, digits there that it's moving by. A couple of numbers. Um, and then this is the voltage conversion and it's calculating it to be about 4.31 or 4.31. 32 volts like I say it's slightly difficult because it's fluctuating a bit let's try and measure that with the voltmeter can I get the voltmeter on screen you might have to just do this at a bit of an angle um, so I've just set the voltmeter to 20 volts you probably can't see that can you voltmeter 20 volts so we can measure up to 20 volts uh, Let's put the black lead on the ground in there and then we'll measure that pin and it's coming up at 4.36 let's try and get that on screen how can I do this can I put the voltmeter up there oh, a little awkward Four point three two, and on screen we're seeing four point three one. So we're pretty close. Um, I mean, obviously it's as accurate as my voltmeter. So that's basically it. That's the um, MCP three thousand eight chip. Really easy to use with the Adafruit library on the Arduino Uno. Catch you later.